Today on Drawbly, I am drawing... A frog. A frog? Froge. <laughs> Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with other ideas of what we can draw to improve as artists. There are so many things we could draw to improve as artists, yet I have chosen the humble froge. This is a very, very cute frog. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't remember why, I, I, I don't know, I just think frogs are cute, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and draw something. He's like the kitten poster, hang in there! <laughs> I, okay, so I cut it from the footage, but I quite literally at the end of this wrote hang in there at the bottom of my frog <laughs> <Yeah>. painting. <laughs> He's the modern day hang in there kitten. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of is. Uh, I don't know about modern day, it's not like frogs are anything <laughs> new though. <laughs> new and improved frogs, they're the new kittens. So, so normally we do like prompts or uh, suggestions from the audience, but this was just something that I, I don't remember even why. I was just like, I'm gonna paint a frog, sure. And, mm -hmm. You know, just kind of work on my process and yeah. have some fun. Painting's supposed to be fun, Abby. I don't know if you've heard the news, but that's the general idea. I did start off with, uh, I think for the, pretty much this whole process, I didn't sample really any colors. I think at the end, I like double checked on some stuff. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you know, just trying to do my own thing. Yeah, you know? just get a frog on there. Just get a frog on there. Yeah. Frogs are fun. You should uh, You should try painting a frog. I, I absolutely should. I've been slacking. <laughs> I've been slacking. Uh, we should get a pet frog, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've ever, oh wait, yes, we did have pet frogs when I was young. You we... had pet everything we did, when you were a kid. But that reminds me of this incredible terrarium we had that had like these two mini fish tanks on either side connected by a little river. What? And then up the back wall of the terrarium were these like little like outcroppings that you could have like little dirt and plants in. It sounds like a very expensive and fancy terrarium. It probably was not expensive. And I mean, I say probably. And we had frogs in there and little fish in the downstreamy parts. Did, are these frogs that you found like out no, in the wilderness? I think these were like purchased little uh, pet store frogs. Wow. I think they were even brightly colored. What? Yeah. I want a brightly colored frog. These are distant childhood memories, but it was really cool. A long, long time ago. Do you want to be like frog collectors? We could have a whole uh, room just dedicated to uh, terrariums and aquariums. Uh, it, yeah, 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 yes, 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 Yeah, yes. I'm so, I'm very excited about that idea. We could be sure. like the guy on TikTok with the eel pit. Have you seen him? I have not seen the eel pit guy on TikTok, okay. no. Well, I don't know he if I want to say- He has a pit of eels? Well, the whole thing was he hasn't had a pit of eels for months and months. It's all been, I'm preparing for oh. the eels. The oh. eels aren't here yet, but look at this eel pit. Uh -huh. And people are watching and watching. Last week, the eels were there. What are you talking about? Like, you sound absolutely insane right it's now. It's a TikTok thing. Us Gen Z people, you wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand. No. Yeah, I'm too old. You're too now, old. Now that I'm 30. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're still young. <laughs> 29. You know, as soon as you turn 30, you're going to be uh, the next generation. That's I, not how that works. Is that, <laughs> oh, no. I can't wait to be Gen X. <laughs> <laughs> you just say, I, I don't look forward to the rest of it. No. Frog is going great. Why, thank you, yeah. So brightly lit there. I, I didn't really do anything new with the frog this time around. I think I was just more so practicing what I've already learned. I feel like sometimes, you know, I, I don't want to try anything new. I just want to take everything that I've kind of amassed up to this point and try to combine it all. You're I also honing did your that. Craft. I'm honing my craft. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I recently did this on another piece that we have coming up as well that I'm excited to show you and talk about. Yeah, no, I love watching your process. I always learn from it. I think it's, our processes are, are very similar. I think most really? 2D artists' process is because very similar. Because our work turns out so different and yours turns out so good. No, yours turns out very good oh, all the time. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, just fishing for compliments <laughs> no. over here. Just frogging for compliments. Mm. <laughs> Abby, if you could have any kind of frog as a pet, what kind of frog would you have? Well. I don't know all their names, do you? There's dwarf frogs. You can, you can just explain. There's pancake frogs. You can frogs. just tell, I don't know what that is. That's not a thing. I would um, go to the Reptile Expo, local to us. Oh, do... Abby's told me extensively about You've the Reptile been there. Expo. You did go there. Oh my remember? God, I did go to the Reptile <laughs> Did you oh block God. that memory? Yeah, I did, absolutely. But we were only there for, I think, 
10 minutes. We were there for a longer than 10 we minutes. We drove far to get to this reptile expo, and we were there for a total of like 10 minutes. We were there longer than that, but Ikea was right. We were there forever. Are you kidding? We looked into every, we gazed into every container. We very quickly walked around. We were there guaranteed less than 20 minutes. I guarantee we were there more than 30, but less than an hour. Because, <laughs> well, then we were all hungry, so we went to Ikea for meatballs. We were so hungry, so we went to Ikea, the local <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner and a show, you know? I, that was the first time I'd ever eaten at Ikea. And I gotta say, cafeteria food. Well, that's the idea. It's inexpensive, but it's unique and delicious. And you're exhausted from shopping through Ikea because it's a big maze. So it's nice to see. We're very fortunate to be so close to we Ikea. We walked Some people through travel the miles for an Ikea. Oh my God. I'm so, I, you're right. I'm just so entitled over here with my Ikea with meatballs. With your local Ikea. And I, I can't believe I've only had Ikea meatballs once. I should really learn to respect the Ikea meatball. You should, you should. They also have a salmon filet. I did not uh, have the salmon <laughs> filet. Because it was my first time, I felt it necessary to get the Ikea meatballs. I, I will say, as hospital food goes, hospital food gets a bad rap, um, but the hospital I work at serves a salmon filet to patients if they order it. Ooh. And it actually comes up looking pretty nice. I get a little jealous. Have you ever tasted it? You Absolutely ever taken not. a little, God, little no. nibble out of oh somebody's food? Oh my God, food? no, no. Somebody's got like some little uh, treats on their I tray. I literally just, rather die. Just steal, <laughs> just steal like one. Oh, they're not going to miss this. This little extra <laughs> no. cookie right here, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Help me not. get through the rest of my day. I feel like that's, that's the burden of, you know, People say that residents who've been there for 24 hours or greater for a single shift might do something like that if they're slammed. That's the TV stereotype, but I doubt even they would do that. It's uh... That would be pretty gross. Hospitals in general, you know, they are very clean, but mm -hmm. they're also like, like a hospital floor, for example. You've talked about how like, you don't like to wear your hospital shoes inside or, mm -mm. and stuff like that yeah. just because. I just, I can't mentally disassociate it's you've, just, because you've worked there and you've yeah. seen all the gross things that can happen. Yeah, <laughs> and I've worked with all the diseases that can occur. And I'm every like, disease. Every disease. Abby every has disease. worked with every single disease as a it's nurse. Not true. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and name uh, name five diseases for us, please. MRSA. MRSA. <laughs> <laughs> Ebola. No, I have not worked with Ebola. <laughs> not yet. Everybody's got MRSA though. Oh, everybody? Even yeah. me? Yeah, they started. It used to be. Everybody who had even a trace of MRSA, we'd put them on full isolation and you'd have to go in with like a gown and gloves and all this stuff. But they recently declassified that as firm isolation because it turns out everybody has it. Everybody, so huh? only if they have like the a very you know. active infection or something do they put them on isolation now. Every, every single at least body got the MRSA, huh? Yeah, it's, a, it's not great. It's uh, multiple resistant, oh gosh, <laughs> strain, I don't know. It's bacteria that's resistant to multiple ba antibiotics. Bad bacteria. Yeah, okay. I believe Bacteria, as, as humans, as life continues on, bacteria become stronger. Yeah, yeah, and now we all have it, so. Fantastic, I got some bacteria, you got some bacteria, we all got some bacteria, but we don't all got frogs with cute little neck folds. Frogs with cute little neck folds, aw. Yeah, the folds I, are what make it cute. I, it is a little messy under there, but it does get cleaner, and I was uh, really excited to like create the part of the neck that's like hanging on the branch there. He's like, a little squished up on top of it. That's it what they nice. told us at the free belly dancing class that I went to. Oh, that's They're right. Like, the yeah. folds are good. The folds are good. <laughs> if huh? you've got some folds. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What we could not do was we couldn't flutter. The instructor showed us fluttering her belly. Uh huh. And it was literally like you push. Oh, is all it the the, uh, the rolling? No. The rolling of the stomach. I've seen no, that it's, before. No, it's literally like a flutter as flutter. fast as da 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 da. Just a, the little center part of the belly just goes. Brrr. Like you're flexing your muscles. Like, but but not it, 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 because like really quick? we were trying. That's what me and uh, somebody else were trying to do, and we could not go that fast because we were seen this the before. muscle. I had never seen it either. The belly flutters. You push all the air out of your stomach and of then you flutter. I'm 
mean, I know how to do it. I just can't do it. You know, I know the technique. Oh, yeah. I've well, researched. I don't know the technique. <laughs> After one class, I am not an expert. But it was a fun free class. It was a fun, like, evening out, try something new with the girls. And, and why did you guys decide on belly dancing exactly? Uh, because last winter during, you know, the time of year when you're desperate to get out of the house, no. I said, guys, I see an ad for belly dancing class. It's at this place, which might not be open. It might <laughs> be closed down forever, but oh, we just got to go. Okay. I do remember. You and we went this. and it was closed down. So we just had a regular evening out, but it sat in our minds. And so another girl found the belly dancing class and uh, we went. Rest and this one was open. Is history. Mm -hmm. And now you're a professional belly dancer. Uh, no, but. <laughs> On your way. <laughs> On your way there. Do you like my little graphical effect I love there that. at the end? Yeah, he looks so good. The graphical effect really sells it. Such yeah, a creative it idea. It makes him feel like he's really, you know, hoisted himself up there. Yes, by my own bootstraps. <sighs> by my own. Toadstools. <laughs> He's so cute with his little frog butt. And I, I know, the little frog booty <laughs> is great. Well, there is my, my little froggy. He's as cute as anything you ever make, Ben. He's so cute. You got thanks. cute on lock. It's my, it's my style. It's your style is yeah. cute. My yeah. style is cute, yeah. I love it, I love it. <laughs> well, hey, if you want to see some more cute artwork from me in the future, you can click that subscribe button. And comment below with other ideas of what we can do to improve. We love your feedback. And this is the part where we say goodbye, goodbye everybody. So you're going to teach me how to belly dance? Um, I tried, and you were like, no, I'll just watch you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs>